Welcome to Web Plus. We'll be looking at the video player feature in this tutorial and covering how to add videos to the player, tweak the player's size and alter its behavior and various options available to us. To better see the video in context, we'll start with the template website and modify its front page. From the Startup Assistant, choose Templates and navigate to the Kitsch template, then click OK. Once the template has been loaded with the front page, we'll delete the slider and put a video player in its place. Click drag to select the slider and its buttons, then press delete on the keyboard. From the quick build tab, we'll want to navigate to the media category and find the video player. Click it once to select it, then click in an approximate place on the page, which will bring up a dialog box offering you the option of an HTML5 player or a Flash player. Nowadays, with the surge in use of mobile phones and tablets to browse the web, you will likely want to choose an HTML5 player. This will allow the greatest possible compatibility across devices, which means more people will be able to view your video content. You will also see two tick boxes for WebM and OGG. These are two additional video formats which, alongside MP4, are required if you want to offer 100% video support across all devices. If you want more information on encoding and delivering WebM and OGG formats for your website, check out community.serif.com by searching for WebM or OGG. In general, however, the majority of devices support MP4 files just fine, and on older devices and browsers, a flash player will be used as a fallback. So, moving on, clicking OK will take us to the video list dialog, where we can add our videos to a playlist. Click Add Files and navigate to your chosen video files. For this example, I have several videos I want to add. I can either shift select them, or instead choose Add Folder, which enables you to add all valid videos contained within a folder. At this point, WebPlus will ask if you wish to upload your video files now. This is up to you. If you wish to have them uploaded when you publish your website, you can choose No here. Choosing Yes, providing you have set up your web publishing details, will upload the video files ready for when your site goes live. Once your files are added, you will want to check that they're streamable, as indicated by the heading on the right of the video list. In rare cases, some encoded video files may not have the information required to stream, and so the viewer will have to fully download the video before watching it. With our video files added, let's move on to the Settings tab. Here, we can control the size of the player and customize the player's functions available to us. To begin with, we'll set a size of 360p, which will provide us with an adequate player size for web resolution video. Of particular interest to us would be the autoplay and loop options. Unticked by default, autoplay will start the first video playing when the page loads. This can be used to grab the viewer's attention, especially on a landing page. The loop option will repeat the video currently playing indefinitely, rather than looping a playlist of videos. If you have a promotional or informational video displayed on a front page, this feature can be very useful. The Playlist Buttons tab is worth exploring if you are placing multiple videos into your video player. Clicking on the left arrow at the top allows you to change its design, and you can do this individually, so you could have a different looking right arrow. You can also change the design of the video buttons between the arrows by clicking the relevant button and also change the size of the buttons beyond 100%. Once you are happy with the settings, click OK and the video player will be added to the page. If the player is slightly off center, you can select it and use the Align tool on the top toolbar to center horizontally. As your player is now added to the page, we can go ahead and preview it to see our videos in action. Looking good so far. 
Now let's go back in to edit the video player. First, we'll add a poster image that will be displayed when the player first loads. Back in the Settings tab, tick the Poster Image option and you will be prompted to browse for an image. I'll choose a design logo in my Documents folder. In the preview window, we can see how the poster works, being displayed before the video is played. Note that if we use autoplay, the poster will only appear until the video is loaded sufficiently enough to begin playing. In the Media Playlist tab, we can also rearrange videos by simply ticking them and using the position arrows in the bottom left. So, for example, I'll tick the first two boxes, then use the down arrow to move them below the third video. The final feature we will look at is adding a video to the playlist using a remote link or URL. It may be that you already have a video uploaded to a web address, or want to link to a video hosted somewhere else. In this case, you can use the Add URL button, which will bring up a link box. Simply copy and paste the link to the video file you want to feature into this box, and click OK. We can preview the player once again, and see that it loads the video from the remote URL. You can keep an eye on your uploaded video files by navigating to Tools, Site Manager, Online Resource Manager. Once Web Plus has connected to your hosting, it will list the files it finds, including the recently uploaded video files. Finally, we've deleted previous elements and added a video player from new, but many of these template designs already have a video player, typically on the gallery page. If we double-click the gallery page in the Pages tab, we can see the video player at the top. We can simply select this player and click Edit Video Player, and we will see that a placeholder video has already been added to its playlist, and that many of the settings, such as player size, have already been chosen. So there we have it. If you have any questions regarding the video player, be sure to ask on community.serif.com, and to find out more about Web Plus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.